Okay, everybody, we are back. We're gonna do a little video today on a series of quests that were updated recently. And those are the Scarlet Realm quests. So I saw that they were rebalanced a little bit in for the third and fourth one in the series in particular. Mostly just bug fixes on the first two. So I figured we'd go back and talk about potentially IDs you would run on each of the Scarlet Realm, and Chad is more than welcome to introduce their opinion on this one. But I'm thinking for the first one, when we go into far Forest for Scarlet Realm in Episode 1, that I think Red ID probably wins out a little more than the other IDs. My reasoning being that there are a lot of... I would say Boomas, the basic enemies, that lead to a lot of Disco Brave Mans. There's not really a lot of Hilda Bears, so Frozen Shooter is not as highly valued in this quest. And in fact, there's more Rappies than Hilda Bears by quite a number. I believe it's 13 compared to 21 Rappies. So from that standpoint, I'm thinking like Rappy Rares might actually be slightly more interesting, in which Red ID also gets Sacred Cloth. So I'm thinking we could try that. So chat would like to hop in for some Scarlet Realm, we'll do some of that. We're basically going to play each one of these, and then we're going to uh, continue forward. Scarlet Realm 2 is kind of interesting. Technically, you could play it blue ID or purple, but I think I'm going to lean purple between those choices. Just because it has like a high number of, uh, we'll call it Jaya slash MN60 Vice bait <laughs> enemies and a kind of mediocre number of other enemies. Like there's not really like a crazy number of dragons, there's not a crazy amount of grass assassins, which would potentially sway the hunt. So I think I'd rather go for a vice with a very slim chance of Psycho One versus just Jaya. So we'll give people a minute or so to join. I'm assuming there's people that want to hop in. So thank you, Imperameter, for hopping in. But otherwise, uh, let's read some patch notes while we wait for people to come in. Or as I get trolled, it doesn't load. There we go, loaded eventually. Yeah, so for Scarlet Realm 1, they just fixed a box that was floating in the air. Scarlet Realm 2, they made it so that... It should stop enemies from being untargetable in the hallways, which I do remember happening once on stream, I'm pretty sure. And apparently there was a whole box room that was unreachable before, which is kind of funny. But yeah, 3 and 4 apparently are completely revamped, many different spawns, some remained the same and others were combined. The quest should no longer feel, feel bare-boned for an overall count. So we'll see how we feel about it. One thing I'm not as sure about is if the counts have been updated on the main page itself. It might not have been. I'm double checking one of the ones that I'm pretty sure I know. Okay, yeah, so the, the one on the main page is not correct, but I believe the one on the wiki is now correct. So originally, for example, there were 18 Chaos Springers in uh, Scarlet Realm 4, but now there's at least 25. So that's a big significant jump for considering things like Spread Needle and Red ID. Welcome back, Chris. If you'd like to hop in, we're just about to get started. So we'll be doing forest, caves, mines, ruins in that order. So feel free to bring in whatever character, since most characters should be fine. We have a force currently. I'll be switching into different characters as need be. We'll give Chris a moment or so to join, and then we'll uh, get started. But yeah, hopefully the quest ends up feeling a bit more full. I think that was one of the complaints we had, where I think I liked some of the IDs, but there wasn't really as much to do. I don't think any of these quests necessarily are, like, the go-to for hunts, but at least if they enter, like, RBR, it can make them a bit more interesting. Yeah, I was gonna say, feel free to level whoever you want, Chris. We'll be fun. Oh, Hellcleave is here. <laughs> Hellcleave the Destroyer has arrived. <laughs> Almost literally head and shoulders above the le above the rest. Look at his character height. 
He's so tall. Yeah, I figured Hellcleave would be lord in it, at minimum due to the fact that we're going to be doing a vice hunt. <laughs> I was going to say, that that's on that's on the list. <laughs> Never enough vice hunts. So I think from that standpoint, we'll, we'll talk about enemy density, and I definitely want to get the chat's feedback on whether or not they find these quests to be fun or not. Um, I don't think I need anything special for this run, so I'm just going to stick to probably just get Brave Man. I was going to say, Chris, you can bring in whoever you want. It's just Forest. You'll be fine. Be between a Hue cast and a Fomarl, we're, we're going to be fine. I'm going to fall over dead in the meantime. Yeah, I would say only when we get to Ruins you might want to swap, but other than that, it doesn't matter. Oh, they're level 1. Oh, that's what you mean by that. Well, that I can't help. <laughs> I thought you meant like your like 100 characters. I wish Fomoral was better, says General Peaches. I think she's actually good. I just don't think she's amazing. She's very much locked into like certain weapons, sadly. Re like you can't play this. The way I kind of view her, and I think that has helped other people looking to play the Fomoral, don't view her as a force. View her as an unkillable single player tank that refuses to ever die. Like, think about it this way. She is level 30 Zalore. She's got level 30 D-Band. She can wear decent armor. Nothing can kill her. And then on top of that, you have some very situationally useful items, like Rambling May, Vivian, Slicer Fanatic, Disco Brave Man. She's very good with Slicers. I treat her as like an ATP defensive unit. And I love it when, and if people don't focus her, that's great. If people focus her, they don't hurt her. It doesn't matter. Yeah, her double hit on Rambling May is actually really good. Is this to go back to the shop? It is to go back to the shop. Okay, I was just curious. See that? You could even take the warp back. Yeah, like Vivian on Vivian on her is really good. Rambling May is really good on her. I think the downside with her is that her weapons that are good are not good on other characters, so you're you just don't feel like there's a lot of worth or value hunting her stuff. Like it's it's fun to do pink ID hunts for her, but then after that you're like, ah, I mean maybe I'll use the Vivian on another character. Oh no, her stats her stats they definitely should have pumped up. Her her MST should have been way higher. I complain about this every time Fomarl is brought up. They cheated her. Why does the Fomar have more MST than her? What BS? <laughs> what BS? She should have at least 100 over him, if not like 150, to make up for the fact that she should have done it. ATP should have been 900 minimum. I agree too. Absolutely should agree. Makes no sense. Begin assignment. So yeah, they definitely did not do her justice in the stat department. Hello, Bartles. Will you give us discus today? <laughs> I love how Cleve and I just were like, you know what? <laughs> Disca time. When in doubt, Disca out. spawn location there's a switch over here I'm gonna hit the switch more boxes Ooh, enemies spawned in here nice and the damage flying out is kind of insane that was weird it's a minute like max distance yeah they they definitely yeah I, I agree in that standpoint general features absolutely her stats don't make any sense. Hugh Casil's stats don't make any sense. Hugh Casil should have had probably less accuracy, but like way, way higher ATP. 
I would have been okay with her losing like 10 accuracy to get like 200 ATP. I'm gonna be real with you. Would have made single player much easier. That and her defense also doesn't make sense, and her HP doesn't really make sense. I love that the rangers are tankier than the hunters. That that just to me blows my mind every time I look at that. Honestly, what shenanigans? Oops. I mean, there's not like a ton of ton of enemies, but they're coming at an okay pace. Help them. I need to back up slightly. Oh no, good thing I didn't. <laughs> I'm just hoping the final room has like a ton of enemies. I don't mind the rooms right now because at least there's multiple waves per room. Alright, we're, we're getting better, we're getting better. Them being behind the laser gate's a little rude, but that's fine. So that laser gate opened in case we want to go back, I guess. Wait, were enemies spawning in the other room? Oh no. I got confused for a second. I think they spawn further south. We have another switch to step on. Interesting. Team's killing the ones that spawned over here. Big Raffi almost ended me. That's a perfect special. Running this into a boss arena is at least kind of interesting. Now, presumably, we could step on the switch. Uh, what will that do? Open the lift door? Oh, it spawns enemies. Oh, I love I love enemy spawning switches. I wish I was using more quests. Nice level up. Protectile cleave, throw more Diska. Yeah, the stats in PSO don't make a lot of sense, sadly. By these enemies. Again, all these Bartles, I believe, should be Disca chances. Goodbye, enemies. Oh, I missed the power material somewhere, that sucks. I missed in the previous room. I'm not going back for it. It's all that just to get to the... All that to get to finish the loop. I'll give it this. It's a very interesting loop. Can't say if I've ever done one like this before. Oh, the forest burns. Do you notice we haven't really come across Hildebeerus? Or will we see very many in this class? So I'll give it this, for the visual aesthetic, and definitely the routing of this area, it's very unique. If there's no enemies in this room, why? Oh, that was that was a missed opportunity, chat. There should have been some enemies there for sure. So far, that's the only thing. Okay, Lone Hill though. I also see a healing circle. Not that I really want to use many traps here. 
extra crispy! Extra crispy, something like that. I really want the healing circle, but I guess it's nice for solo play, maybe? I don't know. We're lower level characters. There's a lot of boxes over there. I forgot how to reach those boxes. I think we had this discussion before. It's like a secret warp or something. So I like that there's at least a decent number of boxes throughout the quest. Not that there's any box hunts that I want at the moment in Forest. So if chat remembers how to get to all the boxes, by all means. I think there's like a, a silly warp over here or something. Yeah. It might have to be after we kill the enemies, it appears. I thought it was in the corner here. Way. <sighs> They're finding ways to get through the ban. This is really annoying. And then also when I copy paste it, it keeps having a colon. Oh boy, chat. The bots have finally learned how to get around the bans. It took them long enough. We were good, like a good year where we didn't see those messages on stream. Like they would just get caught immediately. A lone switch over there. AI is growing eye, I think so. Go back to Disco. When it's just like single targets, less one made more sense. Of the lone moth vis. I like that they're spawning them ahead of time too, which is kind of nice. Another healing circle. Imagine if normal quests had that many healing circles. Just the Black King's bar special again. Uh, double. Oh, that's cool. I like, I like the, uh, I like the wall opening up over there. That's a nice touch. So I'm definitely going to give it points for style. I might play this map again just because it looks cool. I like the wall opening up there. I don't know if I noticed that the first time we played it. Lots of moss. Not too bad. Let's nice level up. Yeah, there's like a lot of hidden switches in it. Yeah, we didn't see the warp on stream where it is. I know there is one, I just haven't done it enough to remember where it is. Vitalos. There we go. Keep marching to the south. Nika Wood, dancing to the music. Chains of Rage 2 is very good. 
was actually just trying to pick up an item there, but I threw discus. I mean, that's fine. It's probably better that I attack in that scenario. It's like the one time I just wanted the HP material. Oh, I got bonked. For me. I have been the bonked. Oh, real? Really? This is this is the quest we get the Hilda tour? Really? <laughs> chat, whatever, <laughs> whatever, chat. <laughs> oh man. Sadly, I don't think any of us got the magical stone. Yeah, it would have done a banner. Unfortunate. All right, so clear the quest. It wasn't a bad quest. Oh. Speaking of a uh, sacred claw, <laughs> it's on the floor real quick. There we go. Let's pick it up real quick. So I'm gonna go backwards briefly, assuming this will ward me somewhere of interest, at least to the end. So where was the actual place to get to the chest? We're gonna take like a two or three minute detour to go figure that out. So there was that wall of chests back a couple of rooms ago. I'm gonna take a telepipe out when I'm done. I'm just curious. So apparently there was a whole room of chests that didn't exist in the caves. Which to be fair, I think even in the first time I played it, I went, I have no idea where the hidden items are. And now that makes sense because something was busted in them before. That 100% makes sense to me in hindsight. <laughs> like, yeah, that would explain why I couldn't find them. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. So there's a locked door there we couldn't get through, which is fine. I don't think we missed any switches. I don't think we had to full clear. Nothing. I'm going to assume there's nothing that has loaded in here. Watch this real quick. Go exploring. So I think it was in the room before this. I don't think there's anything to the right that we missed. I think it's in this room and also the next room. There's a switch we couldn't hit. Yeah, can't walk across there. Nothing hidden here. We saw the room of boxes that was over here. If we take a look over here, there's it's it's like the biggest wall. Oh, you just stand on it. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. So it was where I thought it was, but I had to come there after we killed the monsters. Got it. Okay. Future note. Future note if we do this. Oh, more Hilda tours. Uh, okay. I mean, okay, sure. Surprise Hilda tour, I guess. I guess I could put a telepipe down for people that didn't want to check the box. But yeah, see, this, this wasn't here briefly. Just wanted to show. It... I literally stood in the corner there and it didn't do anything before. I wanted to make sure that was on stream in case chat missed it. Now that we've done that, that means that I should be able to go to the item room. Okay, so kill all the monsters in that room and then I think it works. Got it. It has like a little flame graphic that appears, so like you will see it if it's available. Put down a telepipe for people that care. I think we're gonna pop the boxes. There's a lot of boxes here. Like, I'd just like to state, like, if you're looking for forest box drops, maybe you'd actually consider it just for this. I mean, that's like, what, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14 chests in a row? I might as well check for PDs. Sadly, no PDs. material. Nice, nice. It's away. Don't need that. Anything else I don't need to hold on to for the next one. Oh. So I'm going to swap characters. Rip custom rate with the percentage. Oh, why am I walking there? What a fool. I just do this. I don't remember that that's a thing. Yeah, quest-wise, I thought it was fine. I like... 
if you know where the boxes are, it's not bad. But maybe if I'm doing box drops, I would consider this quest again. Overall, it was fine. I, I'm not, like, super in love with it. I like the visuals of the quest a lot, for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and switch into... I guess a... I think I play my raw moral, technically. I'm gonna switch into purple ID. We're gonna go do some caves. We jam out to the music. Yeah, technically blue ID with Jaya would also work, but I'm like, ah, might as well go for it. Ranger will probably be more useful here since we already have a forest. Lay out that damage. Okay, let's do another one. Yeah, this one I'm not sure where the treasure was, since apparently it was just not available before. I also see that it's rare enemy up on the weekly bonuses. I didn't pay attention before, but now I see it. We'll probably just stick to charge arm for the full run. Love my PB increase on. I could tell I was doing uh, episode 4. Not that it really matters. My stats are basically capped aside from MST. I guess I'll get Cure Paralysis, I guess. I really need PB increase if we're doing this quest. There we go. That'll be much more useful. Sadly, her EDK is kind of eh. I mean, 30 is better than nothing. Don't get me wrong. And that's why I put Brightness Circle on. But yeah, the shield is not doing me any favors, sadly. Let's go to some caves. I will absolutely skip the dialogue. I guess in hindsight, I could have gotten the, the unit afterwards. Uh-oh. Big sword equip. I saw it. <laughs> An assignment. We'll have to see what door opens up that they fixed to lead to treasures. The locked door there. Oh, switch. Um, I guess it's neat you could skip the Crimson Assassin if you don't care about it. I mean, I'm just going to be using Charge Arm basically the whole time. If I can hit two targets, it's worth it. That was a fast clear for sure. Switch up on the wall. Two switch. Oh, maybe they're just used for aesthetics? I'm assuming you can't actually hit these. Okay. So I guess we just pick a path. Sure, we could do pick a path. Oh, oops, that's not the weapon I thought I equipped. Interesting that it lets you split up, which is good. If, we, you know, we're a strong party, we could do it. Not like we don't all get experience. That's kind of an interesting way to accompany it. There are a lot of chests over here. Yeah, I do think these quests are very strong for box hunts so far, which is not something you see in a lot of quests. Normally, it's just kind of you get a one of fun of, oh, slime. Not good against slime. Um, I'm going to Frozen Shooter you. Way I have a chance of killing you at a somewhat reasonable pace. Okay. That's so far, not too bad. Ooh! Oh, I thought you were going through a hidden passageway. I got excited for a second. 
Just the minimap being weird. Alright, so I ended up in the core room. So I think they went up. Oh no, they went forward. I'm gonna go up now. Oh, nice vice. They went left out of the room. I'm gonna go straight up. Or no, 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 never mind. They already cleared it. They beat us. Disregard. I see now. Smash my face into every wall I can look for. Oh, okay, they're already done. Welcome, Net. Welcome, Murphy. To the land of being away. See, I kind of like that idea of splitting up. And then it warps you back into one central room. It definitely means single player is gonna take a while, but multiplayer, you know, it's fine to gauge quests for multiplayer. That's that's one of those things I'm not gonna be annoyed at. Where I'm like, oh, I like that idea. Ooh. Speaking of, uh, it was worth playing today. So there's another locked door here. And you can see there's a switch. So we're probably gonna have to come back to this one. Log in, get PD, log off, pretty much, Murphy. Sadly, no hit percentage on the vice as reported by the team. Hmm. We might go back and investigate that. In fact, what I'm gonna do... I might have the team help me. I'm gonna put down a telepipe to come back to this room, just in case, later. chat base plant check for walls that are not what they seem oh wait never mind it just comes back here i see now never mind i thought that was gonna lead to a secret ah uh, this must be the room they were talking about with the hallway i think it was this room they were just like untargetable See a laser gate over there to our right. That is not the gun I thought I picked out. I don't mean I don't mind using Charge Vulcan, but I wanted to do this. Need a bit easier for the team to get the rest of the kills. Nice box explosion. Goodbye, Crimson Assassin. So those boxes got popped. They're gonna check the wall. There's a locked door here. Hmm. Put a warp here in case we could do something with this later. There are two switches. I lied, there's more, there's four. Did this open up the other door? Can't tell. I stepped on all four though. And sadly we ran out of songs. I'm gonna pause in this room for a second and move over the soundtrack. Sorry, Streets of Rage. We game overed. Slap Fight MD. I, I, I'm almost too scared to search the song. I'm sure, we'll listen to the full soundtrack. Is there more than one version of this? I'm just double checking. Oh, I think they mean the Genesis version. That makes more sense to me. Chat's checking other things. I'm gonna go down. Switch there. Okay. Just capturing it on the, the stream. It's apparently a space shooter? Question mark? Chat's going over there. I want to check one thing before we get too much further. Okay, that door is still locked. Just want to make sure it didn't open or something. Rip help, please. Nice photon draw. Not sure I like 
until we hit the switches and had to backtrack here. I would have liked at least enemies to fight on the way out so there was something to do and gave the team <laughs> time to catch up or something. So as much as I like the splitting, I don't like this portion of the quest. Okay, now, now we could get to this room. Yeah, they're checking for hidden items. Otherwise, I'm not really seeing where the locked door would be at this point, unless it was like literally back at the beginning. It would be terrible if they put it there. Goodbye, Balmeris. Dropped. It's kind of worth it. Bye, Grass Assassins. <laughs> I got my last swan out. It's all over. Ooh, I like the locked door design on that. There we go. This is the kind of room I was hoping for. Although it feels like we're probably at the end of the quest then. A bit unfortunate. Come on, lots of enemies in this room. You can do it. I like that each one's tied into a switch opening. That's neat. That for Caves 2, huh? Okay. Or Caves 3, excuse me. Is this rock here says help you? Interesting. Okay. Good to know. Hellcleave. Long live Hellcleave. I guess it makes sense if they're always on the second floor of each area. Wonder if we'll end up coming back through the red door for the secrets. <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna run through it. <laughs> we'll follow Hell Thief to the end of the earth. There we go. Just don't look at the explosions, then you're immune. That's how it works. Here, Chris. Mono grinder out. I don't know if I ever played Scarlet Realm 2. I'm trying to think about it. I feel like I probably did, but I just don't remember this at all. One of these. I think I tried the mines one when it was like super empty. I remember complaining about one of them. The forest one we definitely did before. Go down. Okay. Sorry, no, no, dragon, you gotta go. Dark Blow is real. It's one way to take care of them, I guess. I'm gonna put down a warp in case I have, in case I have to backtrack here. I probably should have put it near the rock. Whatever, it's better than nothing. Actually, I should have frozen shooter. Ooh. Come on. 
There we go. Hopefully. So like which one is which one's the real pan arms? Uh, all this for a warp. Oh, it put us back here. Interesting. In which case. Rock is still there, check. I'll leave my warp there then. Speaking of uh, worth playing today, where to drop? <laughs> I'm gonna say you'd swear the event was active with the PDs today. Nice vice. Oh, you know what? Now I remember this area. Interesting, so there's more than one path we could take. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna continue in the same room. Let Hellcleave and Chris go to the next area. That is a lot of enemies. So what, what was that other direction? <laughs> Deletion. Okay, I kind of like the tight quarters here. Oh, it was boxes? Oh. Uh... I didn't see anything drop on my radar, so must not have been anything interesting. There we go. Clean it up. Cleaning them up. Alright, this part of the quest is a bit more fun. I like how many enemies are spawning in. Another vice. Congrats. Red dagger. I don't know if I've ever gotten red dagger before. I think I was looking for red slicer. But neat, I guess. Like the rock exploding when Hellcleave kills them. Yeah, this definitely seems like a fun dark flow area, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't play to the ranger strength, but this looks like a fun hunter map. I don't have any purple hunters, though. Not that I really want to play purple hunter. Hopefully, cutting through rocks. Lots of back. Ooh, nice shot through the walls to hit the lily. I like that. Save us some backtracking for sure. So dead. I didn't mean to help you, hopefully. My bad. Rip Hellcleave's HP. First blast. Ooh, a switch. Oh, that's so cool. 
I don't care if it doesn't do anything. I like it just popped open all the rocks. Like, we don't technically have to go back for anything. It's neat. Oh, we got the nightlight. Assuming we have to stay on the nightlight. Thank you, last one. You know what's surprising? I actually could have gotten Photon Blast with PV increase on the stage. Despite us splitting up. Should be the last room, good to know. the numbers I'm gonna see more of. There's like three or four more waves here that'll make me happy. Oh boy, lots of slimes. There we go. Now, see? Okay. This is becoming a satisfying end to the quest. But there's a vice. Sadly, not any good. Ooh, another wave. Ah. Oh, please. Oh, they're spawning enemies on the switch? Got it, got it. The nightlight and enemy spawner incorporated. Getting mauled. Oh. So, does that mean there was still that rock room? Walk in and out. Go back to the start. Okay, so I put a warp back. Can somebody uh, just put a telepipe up? Or, or I guess we could go this way. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess I could take my own telepipe. So I did put a warp there, so I'm just going to take my warp. Else put it here. Uh, that is a lot of boxes. One case. Hmm. I was gonna say, but how do we read? Oh, there's another door. Makes sense. Now, are there enemies here, or is it just? Go near a door. Hmm. Question mark? Yes, we're missing something. Don't see any items of interest. Something like we have to stand in a corner or something silly. It's not just something like the spawn bro. Oh, they somehow got to the next door. Not sure what opened that door. Because that door was definitely locked. Hmm. Alright, I was gonna say, this, this is becoming a little too involved to get the chest. The forest one was fine. You just... Come back to it after you kill the enemies. That's not too bad. Huh. So I, like, touched the, the wall. I'll give up on it in a couple minutes. I'm just curious. Because I was thinking we could just grab the items and it would have been too bad. But now it's like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, as I stood in the corner, I guess I didn't try going near the door again. Like a 
walk my way to the door. Hmm. That is such a tease to show all the items. I mean, fortunately I don't need anything here. Is there some kind of map jank we need to be aware of? Let's check in the star. Like, why would it unlock this room if there's something we couldn't do in here? Yeah, try going to the dead center of the room. Can't go anywhere here. Huh. Yeah, there's not even really, like, a hint as to what this one wants to do. I'm not gonna lie, not a fan. Like, if we were supposed to fight in something in here, I think it would have made sense. I don't know. I'm just kind of confused. I think I think we'll call it in like 30 seconds. Yeah. I don't know if there's something we're supposed to shoot or. I mean, fortunately for me, nothing of interest drops. I think I think I'm gonna give up actually. Put the dagger away just because. Chat finds it, they find it, but I'm gonna give up. Oh, you found it? Where? Hold, stay where you found it. I want to see on stream where this was. You have to shoot the ceiling. Oh, uh, it was something you had to shoot. That's annoying. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, it's just kind of one of those things where I'm like, I just don't really feel like guessing. Was it in the small room? Yeah, it was in the small room. I was thinking you had to do something in the small room, just wasn't sure where. Oh, uh, yeah, that's. <laughs> this one is special. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, fine, we made progress. Is that's not really a thing in PSO? Oh, oh, there's a lot of enemies. What the heck? Well, I guess if you wanted some pan arms. I wonder if the Chaos Springers are hidden like that as well. All that for the Switch. It just warps us all the way back here. That's so rude. Why did it at least warp us in the room with the boxes? Wait. And then we're still not done. Or is... Wait. Wait, why did it warp us here? What? What? Was there something else I was supposed to hit other than the switch? I'm now confused. Unless there was something we're supposed to now do at the start of the other room. I'll let chat explore that way for now. I mean, there's like... There's like one... It doesn't want me to go this way, does it? One second, chat. I hope it doesn't. We'll find out, though. What was in this room? I didn't take this other door before. Oh. Uh, I might have found it? I'm in a new area. I'm gonna put a warp up so Chat can reach me. 
in the world's darkest room. With traps, apparently. I found a switch. I can step on the switch. Okay. Uh huh. Now I'm in a totally new area. Okay. Cake. Oh, there's a fire spewer in the middle of the room. Does that hurt me? No. Yo, check out this sick burning rangers auction. Does it just be action? Okay. Now, now we're going into the strange and weird chat. Okay. All this to hit another switch. Where will this put me? Now it puts us back in here. Wow, that was... Oh, okay, I'm not gonna lie, that is way too involved to get these chests. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not sorry. I mean, like, I, I'm going to pick up my reward. That was, like, way too much walking. What the heck? Why didn't the warp put me in the other room up there instead of putting me all the way back at the entrance? Questionable life choices, chat. Amazing, it was something. I guess I could have warped again. I was I was menuing. I got distracted. I might as well hand in the quest, I guess. Alright, so now I'm gonna play an RNG character. Since I think this has a really high number of guild chicks lean it to S parts and an okay amount of Sinnohs. If we want to be 101, maybe it'll pop up. I will say we will never do the, the caves chest again. The other one I could see us doing. Oh, I don't have an orange one. That's right. I messed up here. It's supposed to be orange. Right. I'll switch into another character. Yeah, that was just kind of like whatever. That is definitely not my thing. Maybe for some people it is. For me it is most definitely not. I'll play my faux neural. I think she's my only orange ID. Yeah, that ceiling was special. Yeah, adding mechanics that are not normally part of the game. I'm not going to think like that. Warps are warps, but that's kind of like whatever. Maybe. Oh, I'd probably never play it again. Exactly. The normal quest was okay. It felt more time attacky. It's not something. I I would rather play the first one again over the second one so far. Inventory. Raygun. Give Chris a moment. Boom. <laughs> there you go, chat. Double PB create V to one god technique. I'm ready. Chris swapping in now that we're in mines. Alright, let's see how this other one holds up. Like how this one's version 1.7. This one got a lot of updates, apparently, compared to the others. Fortunately, I don't think I need to go back for anything. I got fire stuff here, I need. That's all I need. Okay. Make sure to talk to the weird blue glow thing. There we go. Let's all focus on debuffs. Oh, 
after that it's just about slowing them down a little. boxes, not bad. Even more early boxes. Ah, I chipped out a Sinnoh. Take that Sinnoh. Cannabins. Are you serious? Chat, this makes me so mad. Where where did that drop? <laughs> I got an 80 hit laser, and it's a like king laser. Are you kidding me? Are you come on? <laughs> what is that nonsense? Oh my gosh, cut me a break, chat. Of all the things it could be on. There's so many ones that could have been, and, and it's, I can identify it up to an 80 for clarity. Could you imagine if that was like a demon or a hell or like anything? What garbage, that's going on the wall of shame later. That's so, so nonsense. Oh my gosh. actually upsetting. I saw something in the corner of my eye while I was walking around. If it was any ray gun, it'd be amazing. Pretty much. I'm shaking my head. It must be near the beginning of the, of the game. I think it's before we hit any of the warps. Damage to her. <laughs> Almost got deleted again. Her defense is so terrible. Okay. Can I hit the switch through there? I feel like PSO Jank would let me hit that. Uh oh, Chris said O. Oh. Oh, he took a warp somewhere, maybe. Interesting. I'm in danger. Yeah, let's make it so that people can actually get the kill here. I definitely debuff time on these enemies. I think I'm able to get a couple chip kills on the Sinnohs. See off by one shot. Oh, whatever. Oh, hello, Brands. Yeah, there are like 25, 28 Sinnohs, so it's not like a super low number. But there's a reasonable chance we could get a V101. While still getting S parts from the Guild Chicks, potentially. Oh, I think that's the end of the soundtrack. 
was okay. That sound that soundtrack was okay. Uh, but, 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 but. Let's go to oh well a game I unfortunately know. Chat can try to guess it. We've played it on stream before. The music, not the game. That is not what I meant to hit. One of these. Super baseball Batman. Unfortunately, no. Yeah, the... This is from the sequel of one of the games we played on stream, and I refuse to play the sequel because I feel it's way too hard. And it kind of eliminates the mechanics I liked in the first game. It is indeed Act Razor 2. I remember Kidney trying to use cheats and still dying in this game. I'm like, how. How do you die with infinite energy? Why is this game like this? Kid me did not like this game. Adult me could not platform to save his life. Oh. It, it cut me off. That was rude. I didn't walk through yet. Well, good luck team, I guess. Did a red one speech hat. Get it off me. Yeah, you can see we have a good mix of Sinos. Definitely debuff time. Tony Chow, I'm going back for that laser. I might even just hold on to it. For the the ultimate shame rifle of all time. <laughs> I think that's the highest hit I've ever seen. 80 hit King's laser. Nonsense. Oh, goodbye, my health bar. Jeez, I almost got deleted. Why can I not reach health cleave with my buffs? Whatever. Back to stacking, I guess. Definitely the debuff time. Holy chipping them out. There we go. Oh boy. <laughs> Dragon Slayer, one of the material. So yeah, when all is and done, I gotta go back to the first floor. I'm gonna make sure chat sees that item forever. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so lost. Why are we teleporting everywhere? Alright, I think I gotta go up from here. Uh, we just gotta go to the other side. That's. Oh no. Now I understand. The lasers have not gone down. There we go. I need to go this way. Got that. Ended up here. I like it. it felt like we were almost done, then it's like, nah, you gotta go in the side room. <laughs> so rude.
We're definitely in debuff time. Keep the team alive here. You better sack Kafoe. There's damage stuff to the south. Does burn. Chat went north. This feels like I'm about to be ambushed by Barans. <laughs> it's pretty accurate. I think it's a pretty accurate statement, chat. <laughs> I got ambushed by Barans. I felt it in my heart, chat. Get off of me. I have no idea where he, Hellcleave is. He's on an adventure to the north. He and Crystal try to clean it up here. That call out was real though. Is this for a healing ring? Oh no. Oh, I'm trying to stall it for Chris. You can do it, Chris. Yeah, there we go. Holy. The music of despair as you play the stage feels accurate. I actually managed to get to uh, Mag Blast, by the way. So if there's another floor, Chad, I actually can Mag Blast you. Just FYI. The power of the photo roll. Although, sadly, I think with that warp, probably people don't have it anymore. Um, I'm gonna guess up. Boxes. Okay, easy enough check. This is- this has been a journey of a stage, holy. Why is- I thought they said they revamped this so there's less walking. Or maybe they just meant more monster dense, I don't really know. Either way, this is a lot of walking. Holy. We're not even at floor two. What is this, like a 30 minute quest? That's like way too long for me. Oh, yeah. This song's appropriate. <laughs> it's like, I do feel like I'm in the fields of despair, slash field of the dead, or whatever the stage was called. Remember doing the long dives to go through the stage. It was horrific. Hi. Uh, I'm gonna do a mag blast check. Ooh, somebody else is at 100? Yeah, we might as well double mag blast. I'm gonna say using twins. There we go. We'll take any damage bonus we could get here. Wow, a quest long enough that I had it for like four minutes. Kind of insane. There we go, big buff. His enemies are so dead to Hellcleave. Gotta get his allure out and GG. Ah, uh, the boss music. See a mag of some sort. Pink mag. There's a switch in the far side, but I can't hit it. I yeah, got it. Nice. Ooh, even I'm barely taking damage when I debuff them. The chat must be immune to them if I gel in. Just straight up. They're just melting. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Victory music as we kill the brands. I guess that's appropriate. It is the boss. Yeah, all oh, this room. 
Oh no, not the underwater stage. Man, just every stage in Act Razor 2 is like PTSD. Which is in the upper right. Act Razor 2 definitely has the soundtrack of despair. <laughs> It, it does that very well. It's very appropriate for what we're going through right now. Hmm, I remember this mechanic the first time we played. Cut me off for my tri-fluid, which is so annoying, actually. Want my tri-fluid? Give it to me. There we go. I think I think my exact words when we saw this the first time might have been, "This is horrible." Feels like something I would say. This is this is horrible. Well, I think we found where the Sinnohs are. Holy! I think we found where the Sinnohs are. Uh, debuff time. Thankfully, we are super buffed. I could not imagine a lower level party dealing with this BS. <laughs> I cannot. Like, the other ones I could see as saving time as higher level parties. Uh, th this one, it's like, I don't even see how you would survive this. <laughs> There's just so much nonsense in this room. It's how is it not over? Oh my gosh. Holy. <laughs> so trolly. And double Barans too. Oh, they're killing all the new players with this one, chat. <laughs> okay, try to save our super buffs. Holy. There's a path to the north. There's an annoying obstacle course dodge. I'm assuming it was just boxes. The other path. More boxes here. stage never ends. Oh, by the way, Chad, I'm still at a uh, 45 meter because uh, Fodu were all dumb. So I might even get Magblast again on the stage, which is a scary thought that that could actually happen unironically. Nice Gatling gun. Switch. Work. We'll be back here. Okay. I will give it this. It does at least feel like there's a lot of Sinnohs. him enough. That's all that matters. Another war. I just, I just love the despair soundtrack kicking in. Yeah, it's pretty accurate for mines. 10 out of 10 fits what's happening. Holy... Get off of me. I'm, at, I'm almost at 61 meter chat. What am I doing in terms of fluids? Wow, I'm almost out. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> um. You know what? I got a freeze. That's all that matters. I got the freeze. I will absolutely take that monofluid. So all this just to end up back here. Wow. 
So there's still a door here we never went through. Hmm. Oh, uh-oh. I'm under attack. Oh, they're giving me meter. Leave me alone. <laughs> it's not the meter I want. When you're the start, it's the hidden room. Good to know. I'm getting hard bullied right now. Please leave me alone. Thank you. Again, every song, the sense of despair, it fits what's happening. Not a single song is filled with hope in the soundtrack. It's appropriate. Like agony, suffering, more. There's this gimmick for whatever reason. I was gonna say, at least give us a B101 for your troubles. We don't need the S parts necessarily. It'd be nice. That was that was such a tease. Chat, that was such a tease. <laughs> I almost willed it into existence. <laughs> Sheer willpower. I got a PD at least. But oh well. <laughs> it was close. Oh, speaking of Sinnoh Blues. Holy, get off of me. Right, I'm going in. Hmm. This feels like a mistake to touch, but I will touch it. Oh, the guess, the guess of, the guess of switch. This was so stupid. I, I, I do actually remember this. I don't remember the order, but I remember thinking why. Just like, just why? Actually trolling. You know what? I actually want TP from this. The Lieutenant Surge Room, exactly. Can you imagine if that was randomized every time? Can you imagine? <laughs> Holy. I did like the visual of this room. Oh, hello. Welcome to Fist in My Face. Yeah, we're getting Varans. Get away from me, Barans. Well, I got the shock ailment. Rip the team super buffs. I'm gonna try to stall a little bit for the team. Misa kicking it as the brand spawns. Appropriate. I don't need to chat. The music's on point for this section. Minus the awkward delay. Another warp. Ooh, this XP per second is terrible still. I mean, we're killing a lot of enemies, but... Like, the fact that it's lower than caves right now is kind of crazy. Like, forest wasn't, like, the most optimal of XP, but at least, you know, it's fine. I will give it this. It feels like there's a lot more Sinnohs. I guess if you are playing RNG ID, you get slightly more value now. Although, I'll need to pick a... I don't know. I wouldn't mind doing this with, like, solo Podumen, but I really need another RNG ID clear character. Maybe I'll do a Rock Seal or something RNG ID. The way she could do Spaceship or whatever. I'll think about it.
Oh, final boss music. I guess still appropriately timed, question mark. It does feel like we're near the final room. If not literally there. Oh boy, don't hit me. Well, I got Mag Blast. <laughs> but wait, there's more. What possibly is in the final room of this area? Oh, you're a 97? Nice. Oh, more Varans. That explains it. If they're constant brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
so many enemies. Wow, that was a quest. Alright, so where where allegedly is this treasure room? Is it back on the start of the second floor? Let's see what Hulkleaf has to say. Should be? Okay. I'm gonna go back to the first floor briefly. I'm gonna go hunt down that laser. that item chat. I'm looking for it. This way. weapon. It's been so long I- oh, there's boxes here that I didn't open, apparently. Or, you know. Hey, there's- how is there more? How is there more in the first floor we didn't go to? Okay, there's a healing circle here. <laughs> I was like, what? I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, like four boxes. Not like a ton, but it was like, come on. So we missed one healing circle in the run, apparently. What I'm looking for, though. Is that weapon there, the sniper, is the question I have for myself? Or is it before this point? Uh, so I'm looking at this. So it was before that point. So it was after this. Does it impact at the count? What is this item? I'm on the real hunt, chat. I want to find this laser. Unfortunately... The ray gun again. It went backwards. It was at the start. I'm looking for it in Mines 1 currently. It was like one of the first items that dropped, but I don't see it anywhere. Hmm. Is it this warp? It. The problem is, like, it, it was like 20 minutes ago on a very long winding road. I found a 40 hit draw ray gun, which is okay. Not what I'm looking for. And if I just remember where we went first. It was the upper left. The chat's. Chat's back here. Maybe this is- may oh, maybe it was here. Maybe it was this box. That was the Gladius. Which- ooh, okay, we're getting close. Gladius. Vulcan. So, okay, so I'm very close to the weapon. There it is. I'm gonna put it on everybody's radar so they can see this BS. <laughs> what a BS item. See, I went for the important hunt. <laughs> Let's go identify this and shame it. While chat tries to find where the items are. I'm gonna identify it to 80 hit. Just for chat. Got the ray gun by accident, which I don't really care about. please. I just want to show off the 80 hit laser. I'm going to keep it forever so I can shame it forever. There we go. And I can drop it, showcase it, pick it back up. <laughs> A dumb item. <laughs> okay. Put away the draw laser for now. Wow, I literally used every trifluid.
I mean, on the plus side, we did get a hilarious number of common weapon, but... The chat is trying to determine where the secrets are in Scarlet Realm. Chat sign. I was looking to see if anybody had actually put up where these things are. As I said before, I don't want to spend like a ton of ton of time on it. I'm just making sure that's not something silly, like there's another door over here. Because redoing this quest takes an eternity. I could see where the mono grinder was from the path I didn't take. I'm not seeing any immediately obvious things. So yeah. Uh, I'm willing to call it if Chad wants to. I, I did my journey. I found my laser. That was the real puzzle. Where was that laser? <laughs> I think it was a switch on two. I could briefly check. I see there's a little door. So I'll check for let's give it one more minute and then we'll move on. Since we still have one more to go through. Oh right, there's a warp in here. Interestingly, this doesn't show up on the minimap. I wonder if that's broken. Feels a bit weird that I could go in a room that big and it not get marked on the map. Oh well. I am going to quit quest as soon as I put something away. Put some of these away for now. Also put away some cash. This character does not need this much cash. Yeah. If it's anything like the caves one, it, with this area being like twice as big as the caves, I don't feel like exploring it. I'll be real with you. The forest one was fine. It was just very simple. Go back to it and then you're done. But I am done with that. But what we can do is I can switch back to Red ID. Wrap things up with the Scarlet Realm quests. So needless to say, I, I, there were a lot of Sinnohs, but I don't know. So far, the first quest was definitely the strongest. I will maybe put the mines above caves. If nothing else, I find it really funny how awful that laser room was. So from my amusement standpoint, I was more amused by that. I'm going to go ahead and make a red ID game. This will be the final of the series. Oh, it is Hunter's Females. Interesting. I was like, hmm, I got a decent rare bonus. We'll let people regroup. Yeah, I could probably go like at least another two hours. To make up for how long Scarlet Realm was. <laughs> but that's about it. Then I then I gotta go get food and do things. Make sure I'm not missing any appointments or something later today, real quick. So 
Yeah, I kept the laser. That That's my trophy. That <laughs> I played Scarlet Realm and all I got was this dumb laser. <laughs> I can say it. Although technically I did get PDs too. Chris is probably swapping characters to deal with ruins. I think with two casts we should be mostly fine. I will say on the plus side, the quest does seem to have both... Well, all the quests so far seem to have a generous amount of healing circles. I feel like this is the only area outside of mines that really might require it. Like, caves and forests, I don't really care if I get traps back. Scarlet Realm 3 Secret 2 of 2's for me. Oof. I'll just fall over dead. Yeah, I'm not sure if maybe some of the centaurs might be in the hidden area for the ruins or not. I kind of hope a majority of them aren't. But we'll see, I guess. Oh, Murder Mech is here. The cast party has arrived. Hopefully Ruin Secret is findable, hopefully. Ruins, it would be more worth it, especially if it's on Ruins 3, just because of the uh, drops would be better. I'd be like more inclined to do this than the other one. Oh, I remember the Beam of Light here. Let's talk to the Beam of Light. Begin assignment. Yeah, the reason I went red ID over the other IDs is that there are actually a decent number of Chaos Bringers in this quest. And Arlins are pretty high in number, but things like the Deldies and whatever the purple variant, there's not really a ton of those. So it doesn't lend itself to like a great alternative for items. Like there's definitely more purple now than there were before. Found a path. There's also not a huge amount of bulk claws, so I wasn't really feeling inclined to do yellow ID here either, even though I think yellow ID is good. But because low Del D is no blue ID, and because there's not really a lot of bulk claws, not really a reason to use yellow over some other choices. So I figure if the spread needle odds are pretty similar across the board, I'd rather at least get discus as we play. You know, and you still get Cycle 1 from Sorcerer, so you're still getting some uber chances. Also, there's not a lot of uh, Del Sabers either. I'm gonna add that. I was wondering if this was a Switch or something, that's why I walked over to it. Like, I, fe I feel like they would do it. I think this is the first song in the soundtrack I actually like. I don't like most of the Streets of Rage 3 soundtrack. Oh, you can shoot the lights? Oh, so I had the right idea. Interesting. We'll let Hellcleave deal with that. Man, I am getting hit by all the bots today. Man... Don't even know what that username means. Unforgivable beret? Like what? Oh, there's our first spread needle chance. Nice photon draw. Ooh, dark gunners. Kind of annoying. I will gladly take that power of material. I'm targetable. Balls are such trolls. I 
Hellcleaf was like, enough. Just deleted that enemy. Guess I could also play the risky strats. Be Hellcle I could be Hellcleaving it up. There we go. Some of these. Ooh, is that a star? Yeah, it is. Nice. Does my vice have no grinders on it? <laughs> Just an easy way to get more damage. Oh, you know what it is, because she normally uses my 55 hit one. I gave that to one of my other characters. Oh, I am so dead. I I was like, oh no, that was way closer than I thought it was to me. I'm gonna use one gear assault. Now we're leaving the life. Was that another star atomizer? Hell yeah, it is. I'll take those for sure. Waiting for me to just get boxed and die. I'm not gonna lie to you, chat. I'm just kind of feeling it's inevitable. This room technically is two different paths. We're having the foam I'll check it out. Found some boxes and some enemies. Guess that works. Listen, chat. Sometimes you can see through a certain dominance on the normal enemies. Oh boy, what is this room gonna be? Okay, that's not too bad. I didn't kill. So sad. Get away from me, Claw. Okay. Don't want to be first in, I think. There we go. Dodge this. My child, like, get out of my face. <laughs> Ooh, this room is a little scary. Dark on her song. Huh? Hmm. My disco. Alright, so we are back in the room from before. Okay. That's a good deletion. Hit him eventually, chat. I was gonna say, there's no way that's the end of the soundtrack. I didn't hear the, uh, the song. There we go. I'm not gonna risk going over there. I'm shooting them. <laughs> it's like, there, there's certain risks I'm willing to take. That is not one of them. Like, uh, uncontrolled enemy? I don't think so. Ooh, a laser gate. Put a telepipe here for later. Oh no. You need to get off of me. I'm gonna give him a case of the spinnies. Snipe a little bit. Up 
that. Oh boy. I'm so dead. Yep. Oh, I was like, uh, the camera clipped into the wall. I couldn't see where I was. That sucked. I knew that was gonna happen as soon as that occurred. I got trolled by geometry. Oh, I kind of remember a room like this. Yeah, I see the switches up high. Deal with them eventually. I did put a telepipe back further, so it's possible that that switch opens that room we were at earlier. Wait, where's the dark ringer? Oh, it's like way down there. Yeah, fortunately, my last swan damage is so high that I could kill it before it turns red, which is nice. Well, since I did die, and I escaped all myself, I might as well just restrap a bit more. Shot it, nice. Imagine that we warp to the other side is what's gonna happen. Oh. This is not at all where I thought we were gonna go. Hmm. We'll check out my telepipe later. Because there was that laser gate we couldn't do anything with. So, decent placement of healing circle. I would have been at like seven traps or so with how much I was spamming them. Set my traps in a moment because I missed one of them. I can't deal with that. I'm gonna go get my free traps back that I messed up on. There we go. Ah, oh, this song. So many choices to make, chat. I'll go down first. Boxes, okay. I mean, that's fine. To look behind the pillar. Cool, cool. So we know there's a laser gate room that I put a telepipe near. So if we need to check that out later, we can. I'm already at 81 meter, by the way, chat. Eating. Gonna do a, a number check later. So we get a super mag blast going. Oh, other boss music. Del Saber actually just got deleted. Murder mech. Okay. Just killed it. Multiple warps, there we go. I'm at 95. Don't need that much more. If I get hit again, I'll probably get it.
There we go, just got it. Goodbye, Darkbringer. Goodbye, Deltaver and Claws. Ooh, untargetable. Oh, it's split. Oh, whatever. The iframes were real. There we go. Big buff time. That should make my dark flow always kill. Because I'm like just a little understated for this area. I keep forgetting how annoying it is to trap shoot with less swan. Okay. Uh the enemy spawner. It should make it much easier. Can't tell if actually long song or long delay in songs because there were weird gaps. Speaking of which. Wow, that is the most rude spawn I have ever seen. What were they thinking with that spawn? Are you serious? They put it literally on the switch. I'm getting trolled. <laughs> what is this nonsense? Hmm. There's more doors in here. Oh, never mind. We have to worry about that. Should have switched to Diska. My fault. Dude, is this targetable? It's so dead. You know what? I'm throw a free strap down. Like waiting. Nice little backflip in the distance. A lot of Dell Sabers. Run, Chris, run. further than I thought. thought it was going to spawn in the middle of the claws. Thank you, last swan. Picking them all. No spread needles so far. Got some time, though. This is it before. I left a telepipe down for when we need to go back to mine. Because on the first floor, there's a laser gate that presumably we can do anything on. Because it definitely seemed like it should have gone somewhere. Damn, Last Swan actually feels so good right now. This is like Last Swan if I had Hugh cast buffs. <laughs> Just like, but what if stronger? Yeah, there's also not like a super high number of Indie Bell Rub, which was the other thing I was gonna say. Like, there's an okay amount where you could argue Green ID would get some benefit from it, but like we're we're seeing most of the sorcerers now. Unfortunately, we still have super buffs, so killing them should be real fast and easy. All four of us are ATP secretly. <laughs> oh, yeah, this room. <laughs> oh, so dumb. Yeah. I agree, Seats of Rage 3 sound effect. Wow, and you even put a trap here to stop me from just cheesing it. Rude. 
I forget, does it just teleport you or something? I don't even remember its gimmick. It might be status ailments. It might be random status ailments. It's something annoying. Run, murder, mech, run. Lights on the first floor in this. Oof. I try to avoid it for now. Dodge whatever status ailment it tried to get me. Hellcleave has gone into the secret room. Thank you, Hellcleave. Let's see what was in the secret room. Oh, a little bit of money. Cute, I guess. Scar oh, <laughs> I remember this. I thought it was a different quest. Oh, yeah, this was the me not giving. This is the me not caring strategy. Hell yeah. It works every time, chat. It works every time. I just like observe the pattern. I don't think so. I'm going in. <laughs> I did that last time, too. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going in. <laughs> I'm not observing your patterns. I don't care. I'm just gonna go complete it. <laughs> it's E6 all over again, it's true. Laser light show is real. Enemy disco ball is active. There's still one more of those. I think the one on the next room got me. So I had to like slightly care about the pattern. Oops, ignore quest mechanics. Welcome Dragon, hope you're doing well. Oh yeah, by the way, Chad, if there's anybody that wants to hop in after Widow with Scarlet Realm, let us know. So, I, I mean, I'm sure you're just looking at this quest and going, Mmm. Mmm, <laughs> goodness. How's the new and improved Scarlet? Uh, there's still a little whatever. I would have liked to see a couple more spawns in Forest, to be honest. It's very close to being, like, a super good quest. I think that probably needs the least adjustments. There's like one room that's empty for no reason, and I wish they just put something of interest in there. Oh no, and Parameter crashed. Oh no. Well, challenge my gauge. Rip and Parameter. He got super buffs for one minute. Be interesting. Well, I better go build meter, I guess. Oh boy, laser gate. Some boxes here. And doll, whatever. Oh no, it put me in this room. Okay, that sucks. Let me block the shot. I just need to hit a hundred. That helps. 
I missed him by like one bullet because the enemy body blocked Poro. And that was so rude, by the way. Anything we're looking for in Redria? Uh, off chance cycle wand, spread needle from Chaos Bringers, uh, Disco Brave Man from Most Drops. Hey, is that the actual final song on the soundtrack? No. But it did need me to hit continue. Alright, so I have meter, so now it's just a question if Hellcleave has it. I mean, I have S reds if I really need to brute force this. It is better than nothing on this room. Do I not have souls? Oh, I must have used them all up earlier. Alright, once we're done with this room, we're, we're doing super buffs again. Alright, using twin. There we go. That way we can at least clear the remainder of the quest with a decent sized buff. Yeah, we're gonna need like the full eight minutes or whatever. <laughs> All this just to hit a laser gate? Interesting. And it opens a warp. I didn't see what opens, so I'm just confused. I'm assuming the other side of the room is open. Okay, it is. Okay. It didn't face me towards where it was, so I got a little confused there. Too far away, I think. I thought it was just the HP bar glitching. <laughs> that feeling when can't tell a PSO bug or a new enemy. I will say it does feel like there's less dead rooms in mines. Like, it's definitely, I would say, more active than what it was before. <laughs> Death of a free strap. Did you see that chat? It was like three freeze traps. We're like, listen. Listen, they're getting frozen. I'm down to only three. Although I could die for escape doll later. If somehow it continues. Sand still regen some HP. That is a super rude spawn. I'll use up the last of my freeze here, I think. I feel like I missed a healing circle on this floor. That's fun. Oh. What's the spawn? Oh, it keeps doing a copyright thing at the end. I was wondering why there were delays in the song. I looked over that time. Disco Brave Man finally dropped during this run for me. Unfortunately, gold terrible. I 
almost canceled it properly. There we go. Oh, that quest was long, but we got through it. Sadly, no spread needles. I will go through the normal quest exit in case something cares about this. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to briefly go back to my own telepipe. See if anything happened there, otherwise I'm leaving. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we got to the other side of that room. Okay, I just wanted to verify. No more secrets, it seems. There we go. We survived Scarlet. So, there were more enemies. I could see myself maybe playing Ruins on RBR. Mines is kind of a mess, but it's... I, I, I don't know. I think Caves is probably the least interesting for me to go back to, but that's more of a problem with the drop chart than the quest itself. I think Forest was probably the best of the four that we played. One, because it was shorter. Two, the chests were easier to attain. And then three, I think just overall, it, it probably just needs like one more, one or two waves. Because there's one room where you backtrack and you don't do anything in it. And it really could have just used something to spruce it up a little there instead of it just being an empty room. Like, it could have just been more barbels or something, which would have played into its own strength without it being like Hilda Bear, Rappy, etc. I think that would have been totally fine. Um. Ruins, I think, was also better. It was better. Like, I, I didn't come away hating the quest. I still don't like the laser light room. I find it very silly. But, yeah, some of those bonus rooms, I don't know. Yeah, mine's was probably the biggest mess. They're, like, trying to... The secret room we never found, but... There's just, there's just like, way too much teleporting. Like, honestly, I got turned around after a certain point because I was like, how many warps in this one room are there? Like, seven? Six? And I'm like, uh... So I think just playing it a couple more times would probably ease some of it. But yeah, there was, there was a lot going on there. I'm not sure how other players could deal with the random laser gates. That is quite a ridiculous series of events. But anyway, Chan, let's pause here for now. So we played through the Scarlet Realm. I still think the first quest is their strongest. I don't think that's changed on the reworks. I'm not a fan of some of the secrets. I think Ruins, we probably got the secret based off of the map layout. But yeah, there weren't many chests, sadly, in the secret rooms or Ruins. Which is a bit unfortunate, because Ruins has the potential to have the best weapons. But anyway, chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to you two for this part of PSO. If you didn't watch to this point in the video of the VOD, thank you for watching, and I guess see you in the next PSO section.